So I remember talking about that before, but that's like my thoughts about the whole Apex Overwatch situation. That's why I want to learn Valorant. Like, I just, I want to learn Valorant because, like, I already, I have nothing to grind for anymore. I don't have, like, stuff I really want to grind for, but I've never actually played Valorant. So it's a whole new skill set, and it's something I can grind, see if I can get a high, higher rank. I'm not gonna aim for Immortal, fuck no. I think my goal is to get, at most, Diamond, if I'm gonna commit to it. I might make a poll to be like, should I learn Valorant? Finally, I'm not gonna fucking get Radiant. <laughs> I think that would require me to learn this game 24 7 and i don't think i have the time to do that oh yeah it's platoon i got s rank i no need to get a higher rank than that i mean i could get s plus because like what they they got i could get what x rank right x rank came out i mean i could try for x rank in splatoon but i already achieved s rank in splatoon so i don't have any goals i got s rank but i have no goals in getting s plus rank so, like i'm fine with s rank i want to try valorant just because i want to see if i can get a high elo in it because it's something to grind for but like i said i won't be streaming valorant a lot because i know valorant is very hard to watch because you're so used to seeing me play fast-paced games is very difficult to get into Valorant because you're not used to watching a slow-paced game. It's you like it or you don't like it type of thing. It's really slow compared to Apex. And I know it's going to be very difficult to learn Valorant because I heard when Valorant players try to play Overwatch, it was very hard for Valorant players to learn Overwatch, but it was very easy for Apex players to learn Overwatch because like the skill set transfers over. The only thing I'm really worried about Learning Valorant is gonna definitely take away my skill set in other FPS games because it's a slower paced game. <laughs>